Hi guys, so this is a video I've been wanting to play uh, liftoff for a long time with my uh, Spectrum uh, transmitters which was a complete disaster to find out how, how it works and I finally uh, got it to work and it was actually pretty easy um, on the internet there was not a lot to find about it so I decided to make this video for for anyone who will uh, who will need it. Uh, maybe it's that easy that people already figured out how it works, or people just really didn't know how to do it. So anyway, uh, I will explain it. It just takes a few minutes. Uh, I've got an iMac 5K of 2016 and a MacBook Pro of 2016, and they don't come with uh, with audio opt-in. So it doesn't work connecting the the an, uh, an audio of how do you call it an audio cable directly from your computer to your uh, to your transmitter doesn't work on the newer Macs. Uh, so you do need a, you do need a dongle, but you need a very very cheap simple dongle. I had one lying around from back in the day. Uh, I, I think I paid like five euros for it. It's uh, one of those. Uh, well, nowadays it's all 20, 20 plus in one. This one was still 12 in one. I bought it four or five years ago. And it has uh, XDR, G G4, G5, Aerofly, and Phoenix RC. So what I did, I put it in G4, G5. If you have a newer one, it goes up to G7, I think. Uh, so you put it in that mode. The other ones don't work. What you do then is... Uh, Plug it in, plug it into your computer. So if you got a Mac, plug it into your Mac. And it will start flashing. What you do have to, what you do need to do, you don't power it on, not even afterwards. So you plug it in. If you have a DX6i, you just plug it into your trainer, the same as, as any Spectrum. They work with both, I've tested them both. And I've tested them both on the iMac and both on the MacBook Pro. Worked perfectly fine. So what you do then, you can just check it if you want. You go to your little app icon in the left top corner. Click System Preferences. No, I did that wrong. You click to About This Mac. And then you click System Report. And then you go to USB. And you can see that he has found it. It's called Sadie Simulator G5 Controller. So just straight away the USB uh, found the, uh, the, the, the dongle the simul for the simulators. So that's nice. Uh, you don't turn it on, but you already have it on the screen. It already works. You know, you don't need to turn it on. And you don't want to turn it on. Because then it stops working. Uh, make sure that when you connect it, you have your simulators turned off. You turn them off on afterwards. So we go to... Uh, well, Freerider, it works with Freerider, the same as it works with, uh, with Liftoff. So, let's uh, show you. Let's go to Steam, open it up. Okay, let's play. Go to options, go to controls, well this is all something you know. Uh, I've already set it up, but uh, as you see it already works, but I'll go through it again. Manual creation, make sure your throttle is centered. Click calibrate and just follow the, the arrows and just go around a few times till it stops and now I just center it again, the throttle. Yeah, next. And then it tells you to uh, to put it, to move your stick, your throttle stick to the top. And then you see this one is moving. So you click it. And click next. Then it tells you to go to the left for your jaw. And you see this one is moving. Click it and next. And 
then you go to your pitch and move it to the top click it and next then to the left and you see if this one is moving click it and next and that's it and then you choose your mode it's mode 2 give it a name well it's dx9 i already had it in there but it doesn't matter X9, save, save file because it already exists. Anyway, I will show you. Let's do a uh, show you quickly that all the, the movements work. I hope you can see it. All right, I'll do another few so we can see better see the angles well let me just move this one here we go throttle up is throttle up left right jaw it all works perfectly fine as you can see so yeah Very nice with the DX9, DX6i as well works as well. I, pr I probably think this works with all with all with all radios. So yeah, let me show you again the the dongle I bought. I bought it four years ago. I think back in the day eBay because Banggood and AliExpress weren't used that much. So I think I bought it on eBay or Amazon back in the day. But you can find it anywhere. This one is called. I don't know if you can see it. As long as you have the uh, the, G, the G4, G5 and up uh, option on there, you're good to go. It's just a little USB plucky. You plug in your audio cable and you plug it on the other side into the trainer. That's all you got to do. And I've, I've, I've been trying this for weeks and weeks and weeks and reading on it and uh, I really didn't think it was going to be so easy. So yeah, I hope it was... Uh, helpful for you guys and uh, now you can f you can all fly your your, your the, the, the quad racing fpv um, simulators with your spectrum cheers <laughs> bye bye